let's look at how to do parallel arrays. And for that, I'm going to use an example of a leaderboard. So for a leaderboard, I need to be able to keep track of names and their scores. Now, each person should be able to only have one score, so I need to keep track of where people are. And I want to keep the leaderboard sorted by, not by the name, but by the score. So I'm going to start with a size. So I'll do a const int size um, because it's a constant. I'm going to make that a capital size and make a size of five. So maximum of five scores in the leaderboard. Maybe maybe we'll make it a little smaller. So maximum of three in the leaderboard. Now I want to then create two different arrays. So we're doing parallel arrays as opposed to what would be better is probably to use um, classes or structs. But we're going to go ahead and do this as two parallel arrays. And the first array is going to be my names. So I will do a string and this will be names array. And it's going to be of size size. The second one is going to be my scores array. So I'll do int scores array and it's also going to be of size size now i want to keep track of how many are actually in the array so i'll keep an integer count of zero because there's nothing in the array so i've created all my variables i need for this right now the next step is to actually well be able to put things in an array and because there are enough functions i'm going to go ahead and create a second set of well, files. So I'm going to create some CPP file and a header file, and I'll just call this functions. So over my functions right here, I'm going to need to create a couple of different, well, function declarations. So I'm going to do a void display scores. And that will display all of the scores. And I want to pass in the int uh, scores array. Maybe we'll put the names array first. Um, names array. Capital, lowercase n right there. It doesn't like the STD there, so I'm going to include my io stream right here and now it should be happier so i pass in the names array the scores array and i also want to print pass in the count so i can see how many things are going to be displayed next i want to have some way to sort my array so i'll do void let's do let's actually sort arrays so let's call it sort. It's pretty easy. I need to pass in both arrays. My names array. I need to pass in my scores array. Um, I also need to know the count because it's kind of hard to sort them if you don't know how many there are. And that's good enough for sorting. I also want the ability to add scores. So I'll do a void add score. This one's a little trickier because I start with nothing and I want to update my number. So I need to pass in my arrays again. So string na names array. I need to pass in the scores array. I need to pass in the count, but I want to be able to update it. So I'll do ampersand count I need to know the maximum size because if it's too big then I don't want to be messing with adding more in there I just want to replace something and if I'm actually adding a score I probably need to know a name and a score so I'll do a string name and a score that I'm going to be inserting into this array now because if I add a new score, the person might already exist. I want to be able to find that person and replace them if they exist. 
So I'm going to find the index of a person. So I'll do find name. Now, because I am sorting by the score and not by the name, I can't use any binary search type things. I have to just straight out just look through the entire list. Unless I created a, a second index, but I'm not going to do that. So I need to pass in my names array. I need to know how many there are. So my count. And I need to know the name I'm looking for. So that will be the name. And I think this might be everything I need. We'll see if I need to add anything else later. So I've got these four things. I'll copy them and go over here and take these declarations and turn them into basic definitions. Nothing really there. And then we'll start with the easy ones and work our way to more complex ones. So let's start with the easiest one, which is display scores. So I'm going to have a see out statement and I'm going to tell the people that I'm displaying the high scores. So this would be leaderboard. And that's probably good enough for that part. So the header is good. And then I display the leaderboard. And I can do that as a loop. Now we have to decide how are the scores going to be stored. Well, I want to store them from the lowest score to the highest score, but I want to display them as the highest to the lowest because you want to see the, the highest scores in the top. So I'll do a for loop for int i for index equals, and I want to start at the, the end of my array. So that would be count minus one. So if there are three things in the, in the leaderboard, then count will be three, but that means that my index, my last index will be two, so it'd be count minus one. And then I, as long as it's greater than or equal to zero, then we're good, and we can keep going, and I'll do I minus minus. And I'm going to display each of the items in the board. So I display them by displaying the name and then the score. And the name is in the names array. And it's going to be index of i. Maybe I'll put a little space here. And then I want to have the scores array. And I will also put an index of i. And then I can put my end of line here. And so this will display my leaderboard. And I'm good. Next, I think the e next easiest one would be to find the name. So if you have a leaderboard and you want to figure out the index, first you start out with an index you're returning. So index equals, and if I can't find it, I want to return something like negative one so I know that I never found it. So that I know I need to add it. So <clears throat> the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to loop over the entire list of indexes. So int, int i equals zero. i is less than count. And then i plus plus. And I want to see if my string I'm passing in matches the name in array. If it does, we're good. So if name dot and I can use the compare operator and I'm going to compare it to names array I so what happens if it's equal to zero that means they match exactly so if they do match exactly I want to update my index and set it equal to I and I can go over them all at this point I could break out and save time or I can just not worry about it and return my index. So it finds it, it will return the index of it. If it does not find it, it will return negative one.
So we're good so far now. Next thing we want to do is we want to add a score. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, you want to insert the scores into the arrays, but you want to find them first. So we will first find the name if it exists, at which point we want to just change it. Um, and if not, we want to insert. So let's start with the finding the name. So we'll say int, let's do int index, yeah. And so index equals find name. And we'll pass in the name right here. And we also need to pass in other things like the names array. And we need to pass in the count. So at this point, we should find the correct index if it exists. If not, then we need to insert it. But if it does exist, so if index is greater than or equal to zero, that means we found it, then all we want to do is just, well, change the score. And the way we do that is by going into the scores array, because the names array is already set. And we do it for index, and it's going to be equal to the score. And then we are done with this portion. So that is the always already exists condition. So if it doesn't exist, then we need to figure out what are we going to do. So let's go ahead and put some comments in here. Name already exists. And we might want to actually compare and see if we want to update the score because maybe a score is lower and we don't want to replace a lower score with a, or a higher score with a lower score. So we maybe do one more condition here. If scores array index is less than the score, then we want to update it. Okay. All right. So now we're at the case where we have not found the name. So the question is, is this one better than our lowest score? Now remember, we want to sort the scores from the lowest to the highest, which means the very first index is going to be, well, the low score. Now, we also have to figure out, do we already have something in there? So if the count is zero, then we know that there is nothing there and we can just write it in there and be fine. So let's go ahead and look at that situation. So if count is less than one, then we're going to go ahead and just put a new one in there and update everything. So scores array zero equals score and our score, actually not our scores, names array zero equals name and we can increment our count saying we have one more. Otherwise, that means we have at least one thing and we have to figure out how many do we have. So now we need to search through them. So this one is put in the only score. Mm 
Now, if we didn't put in the only score, that means there is at least one other thing there. We need to figure out, is this one higher than the lowest score? So the if the score is higher than our scores array of index zero, then we want to replace it. Now remember, we're not changing the name of something like that. We're just basically replacing a score. So we're going to change out the first one. So scores array of index zero becomes equal to the score. I guess we don't need to replace it if it is higher, if you have extra room. So one more step in here. So I guess if we don't, let's see, we got to figure out, replace low score if the leader board is filled. Um, and we also need to just add it to the end if it's not filled. So, so one more step in here. So if our leaderboard, so if our count equals size, then we can do this little test right here and replace it. If it's not that size, so there is room at the end of the leader board. In which case we can just insert it in there. So I'll get to this one in a moment. So we're going to, in this case, we're going to do our scores array um, count so that at the very end of the array equals score and our names array. Uh, count equals our name and we do a count plus plus and we insert in there so now we're back to this case right here so this case we're replacing the low score in the leaderboard so our scores array equals zero and our names are array zero equals name all right, so we're either inserting it at the end of the array or the beginning of the array. At this point, we have it put into the array, but we don't have it sorted out yet. So we've inserted it in there. And now, because we've added it to an array that already had existing values, we are now going to sort our array. And so we use this sort function right here. And we run that right here. Sort the array. So we have it back down to a clean ordered array ordered by scores. So how do we do that? Well, this one's a little more complex, but let's first of all, make sure we have all of our cases taken care of. So if we have, uh, we found the name, we just overwrite the name. And if we overwrite the name, we might need to sort it. So we've got to keep that in mind and maybe we'll write the sort, right? Take that sort. 
I'll put it up here as well. All right. Okay, so if we have a name that already exists, we put the name in there and we sort it. If, however, we don't have a name already, we figure out, well, is there anything in the array? If there's nothing in the array, then we just put it in the first spot and we increment the array and we're done. If we have at least something in the array, then we need to figure out where it goes in the array. So if the count equals the size, that means that our array is full. We are going to override the first one if it's higher than the first one. So if it's higher than the first one, we override it and we're good at that point. But we need to sort it then. And if we don't override the first one because size is equal to count or for other reason, then we're going to go ahead and put it at the end of the leaderboard and increment count and then sort the array. So that looks like a pretty good way to handle all of this. And we are good now to move to the sort portion. So that's the add score portion. Now the sort. How do we sort an array? We have two arrays and we want to sort them. So I'm going to use the insertion sort. And the way the insertion sort is we assume that the very first item in the array is already sorted. Now, I mean, by itself, right? If it's an array of just one item, it's sorted. If it is an array of two items, then the first one can be sorted by itself. And then the second one, you could figure out if it goes before or after it. So I'm going to start with the first one, first item in the array. So do a for loop, int i equals one. Because we're gonna start with looking at each item that is already, well, it's not sorted. So the first one, index zero, is already sorted. So we're going to go in, Increment over unsorted items. Okay, so the i of one. And while it's less than the count, we're going to i plus plus. And so what do we do? For each one, we need to figure out, well, what is it we're moving? And we want to keep track of both the name and the value or the score. So we're going to have an int name and that's uh, actually not int name, uh, std string name. And that's going to be equal to whatever's at index spot i or one in this case for the first one. So names array i so we're taking this one so we can insert it wherever it belongs and then we're also going to take our score and move that too now we have to move both of them in parallel otherwise our array gets messed up i think i missed a, an i in here So our score int score equals scores array of i. So we've got the first thing in there, the one that's going to be sorted. Value to be inserted into the sorted array. All right. Now I need to go over the assorted array, which in the very beginning has only one item, item number one. And we're going to insert it into the correct location, wherever that belongs. So we need to start from the array and move everything back a spot. So we're going to 
start at back of sorted array. And so in the very beginning, the index is going to be i minus 1, so the one right before it. So int j equals i minus 1. And now I want to look through that array and find the right spot. So search through array for the correct location. And so how do we do that? Well, we do a while loop. While j is greater than or equal to 0. Um, and the array, which array is the scores array of j. Well, that one is above whatever our score is, that means we, we need to shift things over. So we want to be moving things so that the lowest score is in the front. So we go in here and for each one, we want to basically just shift it over until it, uh, there's nothing that is lower score than it. So we're going to do our scores array. Um, J plus one is going to be equal to our array or scores array of j you might say well what about what what's j plus one what why we're losing it right well j plus one we've actually grabbed earlier because it's i right because this is j equals i minus one and so j plus one is i in the very beginning and it and so basically you're shifting them over each one at a time and we do the same thing whenever we're shifting things over we want to make sure we're also shifting the names otherwise names and scores get mixed up so we've got our names array and this is j plus one equal to scores or not scores names array j so we move both of them down so shift both of them down at this point, we can increment or decrement our index, so j minus minus. And then at some point, you're going to get to the point where you're either at the beginning of the array or you are, you found something that's either the same or, or I guess, um, lower, and you're going to then override it. But we've already decremented right here, so we need to re-increment or use the one right above it. So we'll do our, our scores array of j plus 1 is going to be equal to our score. And our names array of j plus 1 is equal to our name. So that will sort it out and get everything to the right location. And it just kind of goes through, loops through these things and constantly just moves things into the right place until they are all sorted. Okay, so now we've got a function to sort. We've got displaying the scores. We've got adding scores and we have finding names. So now we can go back to main and actually do something. So we've got our array. And we want to insert some things. So let's add some scores. We'll add a score. And that is the add score. But I think we don't have our functions up here. So include functions.h. There we go. And then we'll add score. And we want to have our scores array, our names array, scores array, our count. So names array, our scores array, our count, our size, 
and then the name and the score I want to add. So let's put Alice in here. And she has a score of, let's say, 25. And let's add a few more people in here. Just to see. So we got Alice. And then we'll put um, Bob and Charles. And maybe they have different scores. 25 and then 35. And so then we're going to display our scores and we want our names array and our scores array and our count. So if we have done this all correct, then we should be able to just display and have all of our names, these three names display correctly. So I've run this leaderboard and you can see that it displays Charles, Bob and Alice in the correct order. Now I want to go ahead and do some additional modifications. So we've got our, let's say that Charles now gets a score of 25. It should not replace him. And let's say that uh, Alice gets a score of 40. And then let's say that Eve gets a score of 35. So what should we expect at this point? Well, Alice should still be there because she's got 40. Bob should still be there. No, he won't be there because he got beat out by Eve. And Charles now has a score of, well, still 35. So you should see Alice, Charles, and Eve. So let's go ahead and run this and see if it looks correct. So we got Alice, Charles, and Eve on the leaderboard. So you can see how this basically works. You've got two different arrays. You have to be able to find things, replace them. You have to be able to decide how you're going to add your scores in there. So you figure out if they need to be inserted, replacing things, um, who needs to be replaced. And you also need to keep your leaderboards or your two arrays sorted. So every time you make modifications, you have to modify both of them, both the scores and the names. And you need to save the scores and the names when you're moving things to put them in there. So this is how you can do synchronized arrays or parallel arrays using insertion sort and a basic search.